NerdRotic.com. Welcome back to the Nerd Erotic channel. My name is Gary Beekler, and I come to you from NerdRotic.com. And it has been over a week and a half since we reported on the Starburst article that Chris Chibnall and Jodie Whittaker possibly could be leaving Doctor Who after season 12. And yes, it is a rumor, so possibly take it with a grain of salt. But since then, it has kind of caught fire. It's uh, all over the internet. Uh, a lot of people have made videos. Our video went crazy. We got a lot of new subs. And the question remains, are they still leaving? Because the silence has been deafening. Now, it is smart for the BBC to initially not make a statement on this because it lends legitimacy to it. But at this point, I think it would be good for them to come out with a denial. Now, I wanted to check and see if I maybe missed it. So I went on to Google and did, uh, well, minutes of research and tried to word it as many ways possible. Jodie Whittaker is not leaving Doctor Who or BBC denies Jodie Whittaker is leaving Doctor Who. Chris Chibnall is not leaving Doctor Who or, or the BBC denies Chris Chibnall is leaving Doctor Who. And the results all ask if they're leaving Doctor Who. And that's horrible for the brand. And it can't help a show with a divided fan base with all the trouble that is going on. And no, do not believe the access shill media. There is plenty of trouble behind this show. If there wasn't, we wouldn't be hearing rumors like this. This isn't the first time we've had rumors like this and they all ended up being true. Yeah, it is high time the BBC say something or this is just going to keep going on because your show isn't exciting enough to distract us from this. What we should be talking about is uh, the timeless child that was mentioned once in the second episode and not brought up again. Uh, this is a problem with how the show is structured. Chris Chibnall has made some very strange creative decisions with the show that I'm honestly not sure if they're all his or some of the BBC uh, decisions that are going into this. And maybe that's why he's wanting to leave. And, you know, Jody has probably loyalty to him. I don't know. This leaves us time to speculate. What we should be theorizing is, uh, are the Daleks coming back? What's going on with the Cybermen? Who are these new villains? Uh, I heard recently that Chris Chibnall didn't want to bring in uh, villains because he wanted the villain this season to be uh, the worst traits of humanity. Like they're going to go all black mirror on us or something like that. That's not Doctor Who. So, you know, you got to give it uh, you got to give Chris Chibnall a little bit of credit for trying something different. And you know what? Those who try the most fail the most. And this is an absolute failure. So hopefully there's something going on behind the scenes to bring back some old villains. But I think it's too late. We're, ha we're you know, if Jodie Whittaker is only going to be around for two seasons, one of them being split, we're halfway through the Jodie, Jodie Whittaker run and we got nothing. So we're definitely in the worst era of Doctor Who ever. This, these are the worst episodes. Uh, absolutely unwatchable. It's been a rough go, but we will continue recapping every episode at 12 p.m. Pacific time after it airs in the UK. We do it live, so you can join us in the chat. You'll find out you're not alone. I don't want to call it a safe space. There's people who come in and like the show, and plus there's no such thing as a safe space. And I don't, I don't have a worldview like that. But you can come, and we can have a discussion on why we don't like the show, and you will not be judged for it. You will not be called a misogynist or a sexist. It is cool. You can come here and complain about Doctor Who because I'm a upset too because I'm a fan. I'm an actual fan. I'm not just commenting on something I don't watch. And what you're seeing here is uh, just a little bit of my Doctor Who collection. So those of us who have been watching every episode have seen this coming for a long time. But I have to be honest, you did subvert my expectations. I didn't think you would double and triple down on the politics, BBC and Chris Chibnall, especially with the first female doctor. I thought you would dial that back so she wouldn't become a lightning rod, uh, so it wouldn't be divided. And God, just like with everything else, you went ahead and did it because you live in a bubble and you don't, like Ghostbusters 2016 didn't happen. Like they want to focus, you know, with this whole female trend thing, they want to focus on Wonder Woman. Look at the success of Wonder Woman. Uh, that is what started all this. Um, you know, it's actually been coming for a long time, but Wonder Woman was the reasoning to really expand on this. And there was an article from Deadline earlier today talking about all the new uh, female superhero movies uh, that are coming out. And that's well and good. The big difference here from Doctor Who is these were established female characters. Wonder Woman did well because there was 75 years of good Wonder Woman comics and people were hungry for the movie. But they forget that 2016 Ghostbusters exist. That is exactly what this trend is coming from. And this is the result you're going to get. You're completely disregarding like what the whole entire show was built on and completely ignoring great female characters that are out there that you could develop and turn into television shows.
you know, and it's been done before quite successfully. When are they going to learn? I don't know. But a lot of this stuff, you know, they started production a couple of years ago and you can't just turn this stuff on a dime. And I understand that's why it makes a lot of sense that they are leaving because they're seeing the end result. They're seeing the tracking. Sure. The ratings look good. And like I said before, the access journalism says everything is great. And by just to reset, what access journalism is, is entertainment media. They're a bunch of shills. Now it's like payola from radio. They get acts early access to TV shows and stuff. As long as they are, you know, mostly kind to things. And once in a while they have to work as a public relations firm. And that's what access journalism is. And that's why people are coming to YouTube because we're not shills. I'm not in anybody's pocket yet. Uh, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, folks, I don't know. Um, I did identify what is wrong with this show. Uh, that is the next video that'll be out in the next couple days. Uh, why we're not getting any sci-fi in our sci-fi show and why this show feels like a bad spinoff like class. Actually, that came from uh, one of the people in our chat during our live recap. He describes the show as a bad spinoff, and I think that is very accurate. So like I said before, our next video explaining this will be out in the next couple of days. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We had a video hit, hit over 160,000 views. Thank you so much. It's surreal and a lot of fun. Uh, we're still a little channel, but uh, I love it. Normally, we cover TV live. Uh, we have a live stream schedule that's on our website, nerdrotic.com. We do three live streams a week, the Nerdrotic Nooner on Monday and Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, and of course, Friday Night Tights at 7 p.m. Pacific. We are also currently covering Doctor Who, Titans, we're gonna be covering Counterpart soon, and Night Flyers is premiering soon. Also, keep those Doctor Who Christmas ideas coming in. We're getting them in the comment section. You can leave them here, of course, and we will make a video on it, and we will show them there are plenty of Christmas ideas. If you're seeing the credits video, it will end with what you get if you join our Patreon. Yes, we give you stuff. We just recently hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you again so much. Now, whether you agree with us or disagree with us, like us or you don't like us, I want you to have a great day. May the small folks sing songs of your greatness. consider joining our patreon at patreon.com slash nerdrotic where for as little as a dollar you get exclusive content and for higher tiers you get stuff nerdrotic.com please subscribe